Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. This is 2020. I'm the Drunk Poker Tis Beer Time. So I'm off today. I took a personal day. I took a day, a mental health day off work. You know, I've got a bunch of sick days saved up, so I'm like, I'm going to take one because I need a break. And that's okay. You know, there's one important thing we don't talk about enough right now is that things are crazy. If you're working from home, if you're going to work, if even if you're not working, some days are just not going to be productive. Some days you're just going to do nothing, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Surprise last night when I'm sitting there just relaxing. Collective Arts drops version 7-ish of Surround Sound, this time dry hop with the Zaka, a Zaka, and Marillo and Comet. Uh, this rotating showcase of the same double dry hop, double IPH time with different hops comes out of, of IPA number 5. Uh, I think we've all figured that out. Uh, it's been a big hit. The series has, has been great. It's it's just, it's fun. And again, nice to see new beers. So of course I made my way down there today because there's nothing better for my mental health than to have a pint and to have a new beer because new beer makes me excited, you know? Um, that's bright. Pineapple, melon, touch of dank, grapefruit orange, tangerine maybe. All right, let's get into it. Cheers, my friends, to, to taking care of yourself. Nothing wrong with that. The base beer in this is so good in and of itself that when they change the hops, it does change the flavor profile. But the the, the base, the, the, the what, what surrounds those hops is such a good, good beer. Um, how fresh is this? This was canned 23rd of April, so what, like two weeks this should go they're just releasing it now i'm okay with that you know what because uh, honestly when i get it and it's been canned the day before and then I, get, I, I drink it it's not quite it's too hot this is mellow just just the right amount i find two three weeks in is when it starts to hit its peak um loads of pineapple mango grapefruit dank piney in there um passion fruit it's really really good it is most excellent The dangerous thing with this one, especially as it's got that kind of, that hop burn has gone, allowing like the citrus and the tropical notes to shine through. The hard part is, it, is that it goes down very smoothly for an 8.2. There's not a lot of heat on the back end. A touch, a little bit of hop spice too. But it isn't like this big, you know, boozy kind of beer. Dangerous. I have four of them because I'm a crazy person. Uh, hitting LCBOs. Available at the bottle shop or for delivery right now. Uh, if you're in like there's, there's certain delivery areas, if you order before 12, you'll have it between 4 and 8 that day. That's pretty intense. I picked up some Life in the Clouds and a little Stranger Than Fiction for Mrs. Poke too because why not? I was there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go and probably watch a movie or veg, watch videos. I don't even know, but I ain't doing nothing today. So that's good for me. Cheers, my friends. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to surround myself with beer, music. Just enjoy it.